All right, so this is the almighty keyscape. I'm saying almighty because this is, in my view, the best piano VST out there. Okay, this is, this is the best. Out of the box, you can feel the richness and the heaviness. It's, it's so heavy, I mean. It sounds really very heavy down there. Up there. And it doesn't feel cheap at all. It doesn't feel plasticky, if I should use that word. Okay. So this is the LA custom and outside the box you can feel the richness and all that. And so one thing you should know about this is this is about 76 gigabytes of sounds, okay? So in order to install just this keyscape, you need about yeah, 80 gigs of storage space to be able to get this. And also it uses a lot of CPU, okay? And if you have eight gigs of RAM, I don't think you could be able to do this. I think I have, I'm using about uh, 20, what, is it 24 gigs of RAM? Yeah, so it's, it's okay. Yeah, so I may not be able to go through all the piano sounds, but the, the sounds are crazy and the sounds are endless. Okay. If you want piano, anything piano, anything piano, piano sounds, they are all in here. The best piano sounds you can find out there are all in here. Okay. So I'll go through some of my favorites. And yeah, I can go through all. I'll go through the, the key bass and the e-pianos as well. Okay, so this this one I really like it a lot. The C seven grand piano. So I have not done any tweaking to it. I've not done any. I've not made any ch changes to it. So this is how it sounds outside the box. So you can change the amount, the time, the shimmer, the low, the high, the noise, the pedal noise, and all that. You can make changes to them. There's an EQ side here, compressor sounds here. The tweaking, you can do it natural, gentle, tight. The attack, okay? And all those things are here for you to do. But the, it just sounds great, great, okay? So the only thing I find myself changing is sometimes the sound uh, the pedal noise, I just 
push it back down because when it's up it brings you something like this If you're using a headphone you understand what I'm talking about So I just bring it down and also the real noise I bring that down as well Okay right, so let's look at the LA custom C7 rock okay and it uh, it also takes some time to load okay so let's it says please wait okay so please wait so the sounds haven't finished loading but you can play them while they are loading I really like this cinematic a lot. Custom C7 cinematic, okay? I like this sound too a lot. So it's the same please wait as you can see. It uses a lot of CPU, okay? This are all the cinematic sounds. If you're using a headphone, you're going to really appreciate the sounds, okay? how the c7 cinematic sounds okay then we have um i also like the c7 softest okay this other one sounds The C7 rich ballad. This is how that one sounds. the c7 classical okay i'm going through some of my favorite presets so favorite favorite sounds okay all right so you can see the time it takes to load even with um 20 plus gigs of ram okay So that's for the C7 classical, okay? And we have the C7 studio, okay? The C7 studio.
So down there you can see the the depth when I hit the lower notes. Okay. So something like this. This is the depth, okay, and the heaviness I was talking about. Doesn't feel cheap or light at all, okay. Then let's do the C7 natural, okay. So with the pedal noise and everything on, this is how it sounds. Let's do the C7 ballad, okay? The C7 ballad. That one sounds like this down there. Then up there. Because I'm playing and recording at the same time, I had to change the setting in such a way that it can accommodate the recording and what I'm playing with Keyscape. So you can see how CPU intensive it is. Okay. It eats a lot of CPU. Okay. So as you can see here, this is about 60 or 60 to 70 percent. When I begin to play, around that side and then the recording software also does this part okay so I'm experiencing a bit of delay around my side because I'm recording but it works fine when I'm playing without recording okay 